We begin tonight with what appears to be more evidence of the growing financial pressures on the public health system. Checkpoint has this afternoon been leaked a letter signed by the CEO of County's Monaco Health declaring it's about to offer some of its staff, including all clinicians, the opportunity for voluntary redundancy. It's the first time we've received internal documents from the County's Monaco DHB, which operates Auckland's Middlemore Hospital. Over the past few weeks, we've looked at financial pressures on the Southern Canterbury and Waikato DHBs, and we've reported on what we believe is a rapidly growing combined total deficit across all 20 district health boards in New Zealand. The letter we've received today obtains, a, sorry, describes a scheme which will offer some counties Monaco health staff an opportunity to request payment if they cease their employment. We went to Counties Monaco DHB requesting an interview. No one was available. But a short time ago, we received an emailed statement from Counties Monaco Health confirming that the DHB is, and I quote, looking at offering certain groups of employees the option to voluntarily end their employment. A DHB source has told Checkpoint this is sharply at odds with recent suggestions the hospital is struggling with too few staff. On the 25th of August, Middlemore Hospital posted a printed notice at the front of its emergency department saying, and I quote, the hospital is full. It was photographed by Green MP Julianne Genta, posted online and after widespread social media circulation, the sign itself was removed. DHB sources have told Checkpoint there were days over winter when the hospital was under such immense pressure, staff wondered if they could cope. Checkpoint has also been told there's tension between hospital staff and DHB management and the driving issue is money, budgets. In May, an email from the DHB's most senior managers warned of, quote, belt tightening. Hospital sources have told Checkpoint belts can't get any tighter. And now the letter sent by County's Monaco CEO Gloria Johnson on Monday and obtained by Checkpoint today. It's headed Voluntary Cessation Scheme, and it says that voluntary cessation is available to some... ...staff on individual employment agreements and to those at the top of the band for their role, which includes all clinicians. Its first paragraph also contains the sentence... This scheme offers these staff members an opportunity to request a payment if they cease their employment with Counties Monaco Health. And on the second page, the letter states... One advantage of such a scheme is that it minimises the disruptive impact of restructuring processes. Gloria Johnson says... Only a small group will be eligible. But Checkpoint has spoken to staff at Middlemore who were surprised that any such offer is being made at all. The reason, they told us, can only be budgets. And there is no doubt that budgets in at least two Auckland DHBs are tight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very challenging times. That was Lester Levy, the chairman of all three Auckland District Health Boards, including Counties Monaco, talking to Checkpoint last month. It was not an interview about these voluntary redundancies. The letter hadn't gone out then. But it was an interview about how difficult it's become for DHBs to meet their budgets. More and more difficult, he told us, because the most obvious efficiencies have already been achieved. And this year is difficult and very challenging. On the one hand, budgets. On the other hand, the core role of public hospitals. And between them, somewhere, the question... How do you keep people safe? And how do you do that while you're trying to balance all these issues about productivity targets, financial targets... Uh, and the like. And, um, yeah, it's quite quite a tough ask at the moment. That's Lester Levy, who was the chair of all three Auckland DHBs, just confirming we now have official confirmation from the county's Monaco DHB that voluntary employment cessation scheme is going to be offered to employees. Uh, we would really like to talk to someone from the Ministry of Health about this and the financial pressures on the DHB. The DHB itself has said, having declined an interview, in this statement we are absolutely committed to delivering high quality health services for our community. Demand for our services is increasing and the objective of this voluntary cessation scheme is to free resources from some parts of the organisation and redeploy them to our frontline services. 
Uh, the statement says it also provides flexibility for counties Monaco Health to redeploy resources to the front line without restructuring processes. All of this breaking uh, late this afternoon.